What's up YouTube? John here, JDS Outdoors. Coming at you with another Ranger update. And what's been done since the last video. Also, how much has it cost so far? Let's find out. But first, we're going to check out what it looks like now. So we went ahead and fixed the rust along the bottom. And did the bed liner. The consensus was to keep the box, which I agree with. So we're going to keep that for now. Still needs a little bit of touching up. There's a couple dings and a little bit of rust up on the fender. Needs to be taken care of. And we got the windows tinted. Swapped out the bumper here along the front. I did keep a grill off of one of the other trucks. Got the windows tinted on this side. Rocker fixed, and the bed liner done along the bottom on this side as well. There's the window tent. Didn't turn out horrible. Installed the door panels off of the green truck. And pretty much finished out the interior. Now I know this isn't the prettiest of things are perfect or the best lines on the bed liner but I don't give a crap it's a cheap truck I just want it to last a little longer than what it would if we didn't take care of the rust but I think it's a sharp looking cheap beater pickup there's some rust to fix on this fender too in the wheel well in the exact same spot as the other side, which is weird. Still need a bumper of some sort in the back. But yeah, that's what uh, the Budget Ranger is looking like so far. The next step is to completely rebuild the front end. Amazon delivered some of my parts, like one of my rotors. Also got... New front shocks, boot for the rack and pinion, outer tie rods, inner tie rods are in there as well, ball joints, upper control arms, still waiting on the coil springs, obviously the rest of the rotor. Went with uh, these Timken wheel bearings, they delivered some of them but not all of them. Heard those are pretty good so that's what I went with. So once Amazon decides to finally deliver the rest of the front end parts, that is what's going to go on throughout this next week. And then get the alignment done. Also, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the blue truck is gone and the green truck is gone. All that's left is the white one. We got them scrapped and paid for. Speaking of money, let's get into how much this whole fiasco has cost so far to date. So the green truck cost $300. The blue truck cost $300. And the white truck cost $600. Other things I purchased are paint for $50 and random parts for $400. That includes the windshield adhesive the all the front end components and the rear end components for the back of the truck the shackles the mounts shocks everything so that's a grand total of 1650 bucks now we sold some parts the engine out of the blue truck we got $300 for random other parts bumpers interior drive shaft hood and stuff like that Got an additional $200. We scrapped the trucks for $100 a piece. So that's $200. Bucks. So we made $700 back. We take $1,650 minus $700. $950 bucks is what we're into this truck for so far. Once we get the front end rebuilt, and those parts are included in that price, then we can... 
go ahead and start doing the fun stuff. The videos I'm sure you guys really want to see instead of this. But not only did we only have 950 into that, but we also saved a bunch of money. If I were to go to a junkyard, buy that entire interior, that would have been a few hundred dollars at least. Also, the windshield, I called around to my local places. They wanted 300 bucks to put in a windshield. So we saved money there by doing the windshield ourselves. Also, the wheels and tires off of this truck, or came off of the green truck. Granted, this one did have brand new tires on it, but they were tiny, and these ones are in really good shape, and they just look a lot better. So... The fun stuff is about to begin now that we got a decent looking pickup. Anyways, if you want to see what happens next, the next steps and customization on this cute little beater pickup, feel free to follow along, hit that subscribe button. We still got some more fun projects coming up, including but not limited to the golf cart which is still sitting tucked away in its little redneck shed four-wheeler. So that's coming up in the nearish future. But anyways, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. JDS Outdoors.